G'day gamers, Juggalo Dundee here again. Pretty funny day today. As you probably know, Nintendo announced a whole heap of awesome Mario stuff for the Mario 35th anniversary. If you don't know about it, go check it out on YouTube. Go check it out on social media anywhere. You'll find out everything that's been announced. Anyway, I was having lunch and about to head off to work today and I just happened to see that IGN was doing a live video on YouTube. So I'm like, oh well, this will be something to watch while I eat lunch. And they were talking about the Super Mario 3D collection that's been announced for the 35th anniversary. And this guy, Max Scoville, that they've got one of the hosts for this Up at Noon show, because that's all he's been relegated to, um, he was going on about how he never owned a Nintendo 64 and he didn't really finish Super Mario 64. And I just put up a throwaway comment just saying, laugh, <laughs> like, laugh out loud. Uh, I never owned a Nintendo 64. IGN fire this kid and it was just a silly throwaway comment and he should have ignored me but he didn't and uh, so anyway check this out yeah yeah I'm into it I mean like I played you know I played a bunch of Mario 64 when I was a kid but I never had an N64 so it wasn't like I was like getting all the stars and finding the secret Yoshi on the roof or whatever like I didn't I didn't dig into it that deeply but you gotta be careful spoiling this game that uh, people are just gonna be playing for the first time in two weeks. No, I'm very uh, excited. This is, this is coming out very soon. I like this. This guy, Deadbeat Gamer, says, didn't own a Nintendo 64. LOL, IGN, fire this kid. Yeah, man, video games are a luxury. I grew up poor. I don't know what to tell you. There's a lot of people who didn't own every single system. We're not gonna fire somebody because they didn't have like a Neo Geo pocket color because they somehow missed out on the thrills of Metal Slug as a young child. Like, get out of here with that. Yeah, I played a bunch of N64. I played a bunch of those games, but I'm also not on like a Nintendo show every week. We talked about all sorts of shit. This is one of my. <laughs> so, anyway, I just left it at that. I was like, whatever, Max, you know, like, but it, I don't really care. If you don't like Nintendo, if you don't like Mario and stuff like that, then just own it and say you don't give a shit about that. Fine. But when you're a paid journalist video game journalist for the largest video game publication on the internet come on man you've had what is it like 24 years to catch up and buy nintendo 64 and play all the groundbreaking games that came out on the nintendo 64 not to mention the most important game that ushered in the 3d graphics era the thing the game super mario 64 that just showed the entire industry how to do 3d video games really well it's a landmark title that if you're a serious video gamer you should have played uh, at the very least and it's not comparable to the Neo Geo pocket my friend the Neo Geo pocket and Metal Slug I'm sorry is not even close to the same category as the Nintendo 64 and Super Mario 64 so it's not my fault you haven't done your homework kid and this is the problem with IGN. I know it's not a revelation for anyone, but IGN, over the course of the last 15 years or so, um, has just gone downhill time and time again because they keep hiring these hipster posers that think they're video game experts and they're just posers. They have no idea what they're talking about. That's why this Max Scoville dude is just a joke on this Up at Noon program that they have. He's not allowed to review games anymore. I think he started off trying to review a few, but it's like obvious the dude has no idea what he's talking about. 
So, like, I don't want him to get fired. I've got nothing against the dude, but it's just an example of how IGN have all these hipster poses that don't know what they're talking about. Whereas back in the day, I mean, they've still got good people working for them. Pierre Schneider and Brian Altano and there's a few other names there. But um, for the most part, it's just a shadow of its former self. Like for the days of when it started off as N64.com and they had Matt Casamassina and Pierre Schneider and Fran and they knew what the hell they were talking about. They were legit video game fans and it's just so sad to see where it's gone anyway enjoy some super mario go and check out the the history of super mario it's pretty easy to find there's so many different ways that you can play the mario games whether it's by emulation or legitimately on nearly every console that they have so yeah it's mario's 35th anniversary want to play some Mario games. I've been checking out Super Mario All-Stars on the Super Nintendo service that they have on the Switch, and it's uh, been good fun because I haven't played Super Mario All-Stars since it came out on the Super Nintendo, so it's been a good trip down memory lane. Anyway, have fun.